Welcome everybody. The case today is 15 years old male patient who was presented with old retinal detachment with multiple subretinal bends. In this age group, the posterior hyoid is visually attached, so with the aid of triamcinolone, BVD was inducted, starting from posterior pool and going far anteriorly as much as possible. As the patient was planned for 180 degree lower retinotomy, so IL limb peeling was done. The value of IL limb peeling in this case is in such cases with large retinotomy, so there is a high instance of epibacular membrane to develop in the surface of the macula. So IL limb peeling will make a protection and a prevention for this. Then retinotomy is fashioned. The site of retinotomy is chosen according to the site of end of BVD induction. So, at the farthest point of BVD induction, the retinotomy was fashioned. This makes the edge of retinotomy is free from any tractions and any vitreous overlying it, and this makes a help to prevent BVR and protect this edge from redetachment. Then cutting the edge of retinotomy after the acermy. and now this is the moment to invert the retina and start to retrieve this huge subretinal bends. The start point of retrieval of this bends is a point in which the bend is somewhat free from attachment from the retina. And then catching the bend with a forceps, like a serrated forceps, and try to make a spaghetti roll technique to retrieve the bend. The removal of this bend is always helped with the light brew. The light is supporting the retina and the forceps is catching the bend and grasping it away from supported retina. The subretinal proliferations are of two types. One type is subretinal bends, which has a contractile forces and this may detach the retina again. The other type is proliferating sheets of cells and these are lacking the force of contraction so they are innocent and if there is difficulty to remove it, it is not mandatory because their forces to detach the retina is very low. Completing and completing to remove these subretinal bands and trying to grasp it from the weakest point as mentioned. Exploring the area of the macula and find that there are small subretinal bends. When playing in this area, try not to hit the retina and not to touch the back surface of the macula, not to damage the photoreceptors at this site. Also, not to damage the RPE underlying the photoreceptors in the macula. Then removal of the free subretinal bends with the help of aspirating cutter. Always put in your mind that the retina is free and while aspirating, be cautious because the retina may come to the probe, leading to atrogenic breaks. And then now it is the moment to laser the retina under bifluorocarbon, lasering the edge of the retina and reaching the horns, the both ends of this 180 degree retinotomy. And after doing fluid air exchange, it is the moment to inject silicon oil. And thank you.